this is the CT simulation room. It is usually the first appointment that a patient has in radiation therapy. We collect images with the CT scanner of the patient in the treatment position in order to plan the radiation. This is a mask that we make. It's called an aquaplast mask. And we utilize this for head and neck patients and brain patients. And it just keeps them in a stable position for the simulation as well as treatment and allows us to put some markings on it so that we can line them up to the machine. We collect the images of each patient that comes through our department and then we're able to export them to our planning department where a dosimetrist and the radiation oncologist will sit down and they will outline areas of interest, meaning organs around the area that we want to treat, as well as the tumor volume that we want to make sure gets as much radiation as possible. That's all done from the images that we collect in this room. With our radiation planning software, uh, CT images is what we use to actually calculate the dose. So it's necessary for us to have a CT scan every single time. Recently, we've gotten an MRI simulator, which has helped us plan certain areas that are better visualized with an MRI. So a CT scanner is really good to see the insides of everybody. It's really good to visualize its bones but sometimes with soft tissue tumors, so mostly focusing in the brain or sarcomas, sometimes gynecological cancers are better visualized on MRI. So the patient would come for a CT simulation, then they would head over to our MRI simulation and be placed in the same position. Um, and then both of those image sets would be fused together and then used in the dosimetry process to plan the radiation. Over the CT scan, the MRI goes, and because the patients are scanned in exactly the same position, those images overlap perfectly. When we fuse those pictures together, the image quality is that much better. So you're getting the best of both worlds. And because we have an MRI right on site dedicated for the oncology patients, patients don't have to come back another day or have an MRI booked outside and wait for those appointments as well. So that's the value of having an MRI dedicated for oncology patients. So we're in one of the treatment bunkers. This is a linear accelerator, what we use here to deliver external beam radiation therapy. After the treatment plan, has gone through its last checks and everything. It is recorded then in our system, and then we are able to import the treatment plan onto the unit specifically. So every patient has a different treatment plan, depending on what site we're treating, and that is specifically catered for them. So we're able to localize and target that specific area, that cancerous region, to have very small margins, so we're sparing the normal tissue uh, while we're giving a very high dose of radiation to the cancerous cells. Cyberknife is usually used for very, very small solitary metastases. So, for example, it's mostly used for brain metastases, so it's able to localize those small areas in real time. This is the CyberKnife unit at the Jurevinsky Cancer Center. It's only one of three in Canada. This is actually an auto robot that they would use in the car industry. And on the side there, that's the linear accelerator or the treatment part of the machine. We can treat minuscule tumors. So because the robot can move in so many directions, we can use a hundred beams for one small tumor in the brain. That's very, very accurate. And constantly while we're treating, we are watching the patient. We adjust the, the bed slightly, depending on whether the patient's moved or not the robot will also compensate or correct 
for any movement. I mean, a millimeter or two, that's how accurate this is.